Kim, thank you very much for your uh, for your comments. Uh, there is no limit on the uh, on the giveaways, so uh, we're about to send you the mahjong uh, a keychain, but there is also uh, mahjong magnets. So I'm gonna send you both, uh, hopefully in one package. Thank you for your comments, Kim, and hopefully you get better. And I'll see you online. We might be playing uh, against each other one day. Any any questions? Anyone? If you'd like me to play a game, I'll play. Ruth, great. If you have time, yes, I could I could play it. We might have to wait a little for a little while. What I can do while we're waiting, I might, I might load uh, something else. Because uh, hopefully it, we start quickly, but you know sometimes you might have to wait, and I don't want to keep you waiting. And what I can do is maybe I can uh, uh, run that. Uh, that S viewer. I'm not sure how to. Um, I need to uh, to set up a few things for that. So let's see if that works. That's a challenge actually to wait and uh, to show some other game. Uh, how do I do that? I loaded the game, but how to uh, stream it and at the same time to wait? I'm not sure. So okay, let's let me go uh, over the features then while we're waiting. Um, here we have the invite. You can invite uh, one player at a time, and uh, in the in the list you see the players only for this specific uh, style of the game. Like this is American, so you see. Uh, all the players that play American right here in the list. I mean, not all of them actually. The ones that actually play have belts. Yeah, this is how it goes. They have belts. So right now I'm going to to invite some players and hopefully they join. Okay, we got another one. And maybe I know somebody. Maybe, you know, players want to uh, wanna play with me, hopefully. Okay, we have four players now. Great. By the way, I uh, I am in the seventh place in the marathon. I uh, I improved my standing just recently. I played a really good uh, game uh, a few days ago, earned like 400 points, and that put me in the seventh place. That's a very uh, that's the best I, I I've done ever. That's and specifically in, in the tournament. I love this tournament. Well, I've got... Uh... Oops, you cannot hear me. Can you hear now? Hello?
Okay, great. It's just the microphone was uh, too far away. Um, I, th I see the 11 hands here. 7, 4, and 1. So I'm going to keep all the 7, 4, and 1s. The only problem here is I don't see any flowers. I need uh, 4 flowers for this hand. So I'll keep my options open for something else that doesn't require flowers, which might be hard. Uh, okay, I'm keeping the four. I'm not sure how to do that yet, but we'll figure it out. Okay, the eight has to go. And by the way, you can play the game uh, only with your keyboard. That's uh, I love this. I I hate the mouse. Uh, just the keyboard. That's all. With the arrow keys, the ones uh, the arrows you can move. You can look right now, uh, left arrow, and uh, right arrow. Why not keep 8 and 3? I just don't have uh, enough room. Because by keeping the 4, 7, I'm also keeping like numbers. And I just don't have enough. See, 7, 4 right here, 7, 4 right here, 1. I actually don't have any room. Do I want to go for the second Charleston? I'll say no, actually. Because I'm going to I'm going to trade some tiles. I'm going to get worse tiles, I think. And for the last one, 0 again. That's kind of mean, I think, for the other players. Most likely, uh, they, they're still building their patterns. And I'm saying no to everything. I know, I know, but you have to be tough sometimes when you play. And I don't want to uh, get some useless tiles. And right now, even though I don't have a, a strong pattern right now, but I do have on different suits different things. So depending on what I'm getting, um, I might uh, manage to, to complete this pattern. So let's see, four, no, I'm not, um, I'm not ready to melt anything, uh, and sometimes, many times, or sometimes, I like to do this, pass all. So basically when you click pass all, you tell the system that you're not ready to melt anything. Because when a tile matches something in your hand, like for example that would be a four dots, then the system will wait for me, uh, for me to say pass. Like this two, this one doesn't match, so that's all right. But if if that tile would match something in my hand, like this five, no, it doesn't. Oh, I've got the flower. That's perfect. I like this flower. So that auto pass. Now I clicked pass everything. So even though the tile discarded tile would match a tile in my hand, the system will say pass for me. And this way I do not reveal my tiles. You know, you don't really reveal your tiles. Players still do not know your tiles, but when uh, when the, it pauses, like for example, let's see how it works. When the system pauses, players might have an indication that uh, well, which one to discard? Okay. So I think I'm going with one suit. It looks to me. So the system pauses when uh, when a tile, a discarded tile, matches a tile in your hand, and when you click pass all, it wouldn't. It wouldn't pause. So I'll keep this one. So in this way, I can have three different suits for uh, 11 hands. So I'm not going only in one direction, going for 1, 4, and 7. I'm actually going into two directions. I'm going into different suits as well. Right now, I don't want to press pass all because I'm ready to melt. I actually want to melt the 7 if it becomes available. I have no jokers 
and that could be important for me. Uh, if I melt this 7, I actually do not uh, decrease my options because I need the 7 for uh, going for with one suit, like right now, four, 1, 4 and 7 when it cracks. But if I could also go for, uh, for differences, 4 and 1. Also, so even though I meld it, I expose this set, I would be fine. I would be fine anyway if I want to transition into uh, into the second option, which requires uh, three different suits. We have a meld right there. It's an, uh, six cracks. Six cracks. could be five six could be a lot of things with one set I'll probably not try to guess uh, right here I'm discarding this I'm still keeping my uh, two options uh, to complete this pattern with uh, cracks only or an all three different suits the one the one dot for a pair oops I can't have a pair one two and three three dots already gone so the only option i have is cracks and i'm at the mercy of mahjong god for the better tiles i don't have other options that's that's kind of bad i should have kept my like numbers maybe the seven i used to have another seven yeah, if I would discard this, I should have kept my seven numbers instead. Okay. And when it is getting to 50 tiles left in the wall, I always try to get uh, to discard the safe tiles only. That's important. That's very important. You lose twice as many points if you discard the winning tile. And I don't want to do that. Great, I got another Joker. I know exactly this one is safe. It's been discarded so many times. The 8 looks safe to me, but I'm afraid the 6, 8, uh, so I'll probably discard the 7 first, nope. The system discarded for me, that wasn't quick enough. In fact, this table is probably very, oh, that's a marathon table, it's 8 seconds. Okay, actually, I should be alright. Sometimes you might get into a table, it's 5 or 6 seconds. That's ridiculously uh, quick game. I mean, it. they... There are an, uh, an option to go for a uh, no auto pass table, and uh, when players go for no auto pass table, they tend to uh, to set up uh, tables with a very low limit uh, for move, like five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds. This one is eight seconds. That's all right. There's also, you can also buy a time, pa a time bank. It, uh, the time bank gives you three extra seconds uh, per move. So let's buy it. I'll show you how to buy it. You go here, uh, there is an icon. So you, you click that arrow right there. And then right above the chat, Uh, that little icon that uh, it's like uh, like a clock it's called time bank another joker I love that so I'm officially two tiles away 
and I can claim these cards. I can claim this seven, I can claim the four, and that is great. Because immediately I might be waiting on one crack. Let's see the one crack situation. Uh, any... No, it wasn't discarded. So if I click this icon, I, I get this screen and then uh, I can buy time bank. Click on, a, on that again and click here. If you have enough gold coins, then you could buy the time bank. What it gives you, it gives you extra three seconds per move. So everybody else has eight seconds, but you could have uh, 11 seconds, but only 30 seconds per deal. So that means if each time you will be using 11 seconds instead of uh, eight seconds, then you'll run out uh, of time bank in 10, in 10 moves because there is a limit, 30 seconds per deal. So you want to have the time bank, but you don't want to use it all the time. Okay, the five. Five looks good to me. It was discarded just previously. I want to discard only save tiles. There are two tiles left. Uh, I mean, 17 tiles left, and there are still two tiles to improve. And it doesn't look to me that I, uh, I might win. I mean, I might win. It's, it's just the, the chance is slight. Unless they discard the 7 or the 4 so I can melt, expose my sets, and then yes. 4 was discarded, 9 discarded, so I'll discard the 9. Even though this 6, it could be a 3, 6, 9, and there could be a 9, 9 Kong. You're welcome. You're welcome. I, I love to explain. It's just I'm not getting too, uh, many questions. I love questions. I can answer anything about this software and, uh, well, the game. I don't know everything about the American game. I know many things. Oops, 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 oops. Ah, that, was, that wasn't good. Yeah, that was on the safe tile. I didn't want to discard it. It was a mistake. Uh, fortunately, that wasn't a Mahjong. Because it's time to discard the jokers, actually. Oops. Nope, it's not. I'll keep my jokers. Still eight tiles left. I still have a chance. If somebody discards a seven or four. Not this four. And when you buy the time bank, it uh, it doesn't work immediately, unfortunately. You can buy it during the game. You can buy it during the game, but uh, it will work on the on the next deal. So I bought it right now. I uh, I did not extend my uh, my time limit by doing so. It will extend the next uh, the next deal, and that is noticeable. Three seconds. That's quite good. You have eleven seconds for a move. I think that's plenty. And I'm discarding the Joker. I don't want to have any anything. So that's a draw. That's perfect. I love a draw. This is a marathon table. And let's see, a black belt, brown belt with two stripes. That's almost black belt, the black belt. So when I have a draw and I'm a green belt, I actually win points because uh, this is how it works. If the player is... Uh, is a skillful player, uh, has a very high rating, then a lower rating guy playing with the high rating guy, and uh, if there is a draw, actually the player with a black belt or with a brown belt, they still pay me some rating points. So I love that. Okay, so what do I have here? I see seven, like number seven, seven, what else? What else? What else? What else? Soap. One, two. That's 2016. Probably. Huh. Okay, I'll discard these. Six, seven, eight with soap.
What do you mean 678 with soap? You mean the consecutive? Oh, the consecutive. Oh, yeah, 6. Oh, I, I discarded the 8, and that would work. I got it. Yep, too late though. Um, <laughs> 1. Okay, I got the second soap, and I have the like number, seven, 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 I have a green, so I have a good opportunity to go for like numbers, and I actually don't like the 2016 no more, I didn't get the six, and I didn't get any any wins, I'm ha and I have a bunch of sevens, so I'm actually done, I'm not done completely, completely, but... I like this like numbers right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Ruth. Uh, seven like numbers. Uh, second Charleston, yes, let's go for second Charleston. Passing left. See, I ran out of room, so now I'm going to discard the part for 2016. I don't think I'm going to go for it. I got another 7 right here. That works. Yeah, exactly. The number two. But I also see seven, four, and one, eleven hands. Kind of slight, but still there. Well, I don't have room, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Nothing out of this trade. Really useless, not for me. Maybe somebody else can uh, can use these tiles. And three more. This is the second deal, the marathon, and the game should start soon. We're waiting for this player on the right. And three tiles. I'm improving, trying to improve another three tiles. I got another uh, dragon, that helps. And the east, that's where you see who is the east, right here. And uh, that little thing shows you who's uh, who's moving. And, uh, okay, I'll discard the, the winds, I don't think I can use the winds. But you see here, I have five, seven, if I get a nine, then I can, I also have an, oppor uh, an opportunity to transition into odds number five with the flowers, I don't have flowers, but uh, with the odds number seven, with the dragons though. With the dragons could work better. And I'm, I'm not afraid of closed hands. I actually like closed hands. So I might go for it if I'm getting the nine. This is a very dynamic game. And the situation um, changes each time you draw a tile. So by drawing a tile, you have an option to transition to something else. Not always, not 100%, but 
but most of the time, you know, when you have your hand closed and uh, you get a tile from the wall, you get some options. Okay, that's a second meld. Six and four, so we have to read. Everything that's going on, we have to read. And this is probably, uh, let me see which one to discard. I'll probably discard this one. I'm just afraid of this. Oh no, four. Four is fine. So, okay, uh, which hand is that? That must be. Four, six, that must be somewhere in the evens. And that's the hand number two. So if I would have 11 tiles towards the desired hand, I wouldn't switch for a close hand. Unless, uh, sometimes you might have to, uh, because sometimes you might not win the table. Like for example, right now, I am uh, playing in, in a tournament. This is a tournament table. And uh, if I win with the open hand, I might not get enough points to win the table or get a second position or something, you know, something that I need. That's the only, the only time I'll probably I'll switch uh, from uh, open hand into a close hand just to get more points. Or or if I feel that uh, I might get a better weight. So sometimes you figure out, okay, it's gonna go into one-sided weight, so I'm gonna wait for one, one tile only. And that's tough, waiting for one tile. And many cases when I go for a closed hand, especially if I have my pair already uh, completed, I have my pair done, then by having even one joker or a couple jokers, you may have, uh, uh, multiple sided weight and I love that So this one is probably the number two, the evens. So in this case, the two, no, 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 probably not. Why is it on one? Oh, it's probably number four, no. Why is it one suit? That's the Kong and that's a Pong. So I'm not sure which, which hand is that. Seven, five should be all right. Oh, I, th I think I know which one is that. And I'm afraid that this one might match. This could be the uh, the four, the um, uh, consecutive number four with a matching dragon. No, it can't be. What is hand is that? The four six. Four six. No, not the even. Uh, Oh, I, uh, no. Another Joker. That is good. That is very good. I'm actually one tile away from being ready. I'm still puzzled with this one. I, I know I've seen that before. I know... It makes sense, that hand. It's just, which one is that? Oh, that was five. I discarded five. I could have... Did I discard a five? Oh, I discarded five dots. Okay. Four, six. And one suit. Uh, 
Am I waiting? I think I am. I am waiting on a 7 crack or 7 bams. Or, you know, like right now. Just a joker. And that's uh, self drone, 180 points. And I am going to be playing much safer now. Thank you. Somebody told me well done. I wanted to say thank you. Yeah, thank you, Ruth. Uh, okay, so let's try and see what we can do here. 2, 4, 6, 9. Hmm, that one's tough, isn't it? Um, you know what? I'll discard this. So what I'm doing is keeping the 6-9. I like this. I have a matching dragon. So I got another 6 and, and oh no, 6-9. So I'm keeping the 3-6-9 number 1. With the matching dragon three uh, six nine, also the seven. What do I do with the seven? Seven right here, seven right there. Again, like numbers. Um, I see the, there is a two four six eight also. The seven. I'm not sure what to do with the 7. You know what? I'm discarding the 7. How about that? Somebody asked me, the Kim asked me, why why am I uh, uh, passing pairs? I just passed a, a Pong. I don't care. I care about my tiles. A consecutive with seven in the middle. I already discarded it. That was too late. Thank you, Ruth. I think that was a good idea. It's just too late. He, I'm in a. Uh, there's a time. Time limit. So that's six nine. No, I'm not. I want to keep this one. The sevens, I'm the ones I'm. So I'm actually looking into events. Also, the, with the possibility to improve my 369, the number one, perhaps, with the matching dragon. I like this 2468. This part two four six eight. There's also possible to go for two four six, and if I'm getting an eight right there, then yeah, that could that could work as well. The only problem is the flowers. I don't have any flowers. Oh, and that's my turn. Uh, two I think that three six nine. I'm not going for it no more. I have to uh, free some room. Okay, I got all the evens now in my hand. Now let's see if I'm getting any any good tiles out of this trade. No, nope, all the odds I got deny. One one uh, wind, one dot, and seven the odds. So let's try it again. Let's see if 
this one would get better. But I have 180 points and this is the third deal. I'm going to be very safe. I'm not going to risk it. I'm okay uh, by getting the second place in this uh, in this tournament. I don't want to get the third or fourth. Uh, okay, so another the courtesy pass that would be two tiles. second let me turn on the lights Yeah, I just made a mistake. I didn't want to do that. I just ran out of time. I should have kept this tile. But that's alright. It might not change anything. I had uh, the Red Dragon, the one that I wanted to discard. Or that tree. Yeah, that's a four. Uh, probably want to discard the soap. I don't like having the soap to discard later on in the game because you never know. Somebody could be going for uh, 2016 hand and the soaps might be in demand in the second half of the game. So keeping it, it's not worth it. I have no use for it. Unless I want to go for like numbers uh, probably not. Do I want to do a Pong? Let's do a Pong. That's kind of early, but as I mentioned, I want to play it safe. Even numbers, option of evens. Number four, two, four, four, six, eight, two, four, four, six, two, four, and then four, six, yes, and eight. Exactly, yes. That option is great, actually. The number four, two, four. Four, six, and then an eight. In this case, would be one, two, that's three tiles away. Yeah, if uh, going for option number four, my hand is three tiles away. So that's not bad, actually. 61 tiles left. 
there is plenty of room to improve. Six. Okay, that eight. So now it should have it should be even better. So it's it's two four, then four six pongs, and then six eight. I don't need that. No, 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 no. and then and then the eight. I don't need the six. Oh yeah, I melted the two. That won't work. Sure. What am I talking about? Okay, I think we have the number four consecutive right here. And uh, that must be a matching dragon right there. So the green dragon, no go. And the five cracks also, uh, but the red ones should be all right. So as I'm playing safe, I am not as much interested in uh, in winning my hand. I am interested in winning my hand, but only if it is safe. So that's that's the deal because I have 180 points. Everybody else has minuses. If we go into a draw, that's perfect because there will be another deal. That would be the last deal now. So, right now, all I'm uh, worried about is play safe. And slowly building my, my hand. Only that way. So, right now, I only have the option 2, 4, 6, 8 right here. And it's actually not bad. Three tiles away. Uh, Pung, mm, perhaps. Why not? Somebody's going to steal my 4. Probably, I didn't want to do that. Could have waited because the four was still uh, in the game somewhere in the wall so i behave right now like i'm actually aggressively want to win instead of playing safe i'm saying that i want to i want to play safe but no your opponent needs your six cracks Probably, yeah. Well, somebody won. That's all right. Now it's the deal number four. Somebody has 90 points. I have 130 points. So my my whole thing is, is play safe again. I don't want to lose. Because if even if I don't win, I'll probably keep my second place. But if I uh, discard the winning tile, I'll probably go on the third or even fourth. Fourth, probably not, but the third, yes. I want to keep the first two, so that way I'll improve my standings in the marathon. And right here, uh, what do we have? Seven. Seven like numbers. Uh, I'll keep the odds. How about that? I'll keep the odds. So I'll remove all even numbers. Let's get rid of them. This is the last deal. This this is the deal that decides everything. So the odds seven nine we have here one seven. Okay, even even even. So let's see what's left. Well, I didn't get any odd numbers out of this trade. I'll keep my north wind because it goes well with the winds dragons number two with the uh, like numbers, but it has to be odd numbers. So I'll keep my uh, north wind just in case. Discard the two and discard the four. Okay, the second Charleston. Yes, let's go for it. I'm getting only even numbers. If I would switch to even numbers, I would probably have a ready hand. <laughs> Nothing matches my pattern. Okay, same thing.
I just say no. That's right. If I uh, if I trade something, I'm most likely going to get some even numbers. So I'm going to keep the options I have right now. At least everything is odd like I wanted it to be. Um, I have the possibility to go for like numbers. I have the 7, 7, and 7. Well, it's singles. It's, it's a weak option, probably. So I'll discard this uh, north wind. I'll next probably discard the, uh, the green. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not because with the green, if I'm getting a 5, 7, 9, then I could go for odds number 7. But the most important thing for me is uh, not to discard the winning tile. Because if I don't discard the winning tile, I have a very good chance to actually stay on the first place. If uh, the player across that has 90 points doesn't win, somebody else wins, like for example this player or this player, then I stay in the first place. If this player across wins, then yes, she'll get on the first place and I'll get on the second. And that's alright, that works for me. The marathon, you want to you wanna win uh, the first or second place. So that uh, will probably improve your standings. So there is some strategy, the actual how to play the actual round. So first of all, you look at the points. If you don't wanna, um, you don't wanna be uh, too aggressive when you don't have to. Like right now, I just wanna go into a draw, and that gives me a win. Three, one, three, one, seven. Ooh, okay, that was too late. Okay, my cracks are improving. I don't have the five cracks. That's a crucial number. And uh, fives are in demand because of the odd numbers. You see the number two requires fives. The number four requires fives. So the fives are in the middle and uh, are in more demand than the other tiles. So if you don't have the five, you might be in trouble. But I'm not. As I already pointed out, a draw is perfect. Even if somebody wins on the left or on the right, it's perfect also because I keep my first place. Okay, I got a soap. Do I need it? Probably not. As I mentioned, I don't like to keep soaps for later because... Uh, that could be uh, an unsafe tile to discard. Okay, got this five. Um, anything safer than this? Now I want to keep my cracks though. Okay, I'll discard this. See what happens. Well, no one melded, so there is no clue what whatsoever what everyone is building. What I can tell from it, these cards, that uh, probably no one's going for winds dragons. Flower helps. I need that flower. When somebody is going for Winds Dragons, they typically collect all these Winds during the Charleston and no one's discarding any Winds in the beginning. So, the Winds Dragons should be alright, unless it's a Soap. 
uh, should go right to discard. So I'm looking at the, the tiles that are safe to discard. Nine. Okay, I'm getting rid of this. So far, I think I'm going for odds number one. And uh, to complete this pattern, I need to improve four tiles, like these four tiles. So the three safe. Seven. Seven is safer. So I'll discard this one first. Okay, this one doesn't match my pattern and it is safe to discard. There are uh, three eight cracks were discarded. You can see in the discards, they, they kind of levitate a little bit when you select it in your hand. The tiles that were discarded and then match the number you have. So that's easier to see. So this one I'm checking um, when I need to discard. As you can see, the one dot was just discarded. So I'll discard it too. That's safe. Next tile, uh, the one I'm going to discard is one BAM. It's been discarded right there, right there, and I have it. No, this, uh, the, uh, the time bank is, uh, is, uh, is for as, as long as... Uh, you, you buy a certain number of seconds. So if you don't use the seconds in this game, so if you're uh, playing quickly, then you uh, you don't use them at all. So you might not use them at all in, in the game. If you don't don't go over time, over eight seconds, you don't use them. But uh, the one thing you have to remember, uh, very important, and, uh, and I'll show you how this works. Like for example, if somebody discards a tile that matches something in your hand. The three, and nine, I'll discard the nine. I'll show you that exact situation so you understand how, how it works. Okay, I discarded 9 previously. I'm discarding 9 again. Again, I don't want to discard the winning tile. Everything I worry about is the winning tile. See, right now, somebody discarded the flower. So right now, the timer is right here. The time is off. Now they started the uh, counting my time bank seconds. So if you don't click pass when you have to, like right now, I don't need this flower. Then you have to click pass. And the system asks for you, then you have to click pass. If you don't, then... Uh, so anything else safer than three? No, probably not. Um, so if you don't need this tile, then click pass. Otherwise, your time bank seconds will kick in and uh, you will uh, use your time bank even though you might not want it to use it. So that's a kind of a concealed way to lose your seconds. You don't know, that, uh, you might not know that you're using them. Six, anything safe? Yes, yeah, six should be safe. It was discarded right there. It's nine tiles left. Hmm, do I claim it? Probably not. All I need is a draw. Yeah, they carry over until you use them. As, as I explained, there is, a, there is a way to lose them without knowing that you're losing them. If somebody discards something and it, and it triggers something uh, that I can claim, like right now, see the uh, green dragon. So the system is waiting for me. See the dust, it does the timer. So if I don't press while the dust is here, now the seconds kicked in. 
So if I would press pass before that, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't be using this seconds. But otherwise, yeah, they, uh, the seconds carry over to the next game and next game. So you don't, if you don't use them in, in a deal, you have them. As I pointed out, I love draws. There was the first draw, the second draw. I won one, uh, one deal, somebody won another deal, and I won the whole table. Some strategy, and you win a lot. Thank you. Somebody congratulated MT, said congrats MT. That's the chat. So I'm getting the congratulations for the win. That's all for today. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you for your uh, questions uh, and uh, helping me with the patterns. I love your options. I, I actually, yeah, I think we have a little different mindset or or, or something. But uh, you see, uh, I think uh, the hands a little differently than I do. So we we'll learn from each other, I, I guess. Thank you, everyone. Have a great evening, and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, Friday, 3 p.m. Pacific time, I'll be playing or replaying um, at the same time. Thank you. Bye-bye.